Hey, welcome to Amy's Autopsy Report. My name's Amy, and I am going to review 1978's Night Creature. Pretty cool. This was directed by Lee Madden, starring Donald Pleasance. And this disc art's really cool, or the disc, this VHS tape art is really cool here, but it has literally nothing to do with the movie. The back, check out the back there. You can see the Black Panther. That's what it has to do with. 1978 film. Super, I was super happy if you saw my last video to find this on VHS um, for super cheap. This movie, basic gist of the plot is this. Uh, Donald Pleasance plays a big game hunter. And in the very beginning, he's, he's hunting with a friend of his and he gets surprised by this black panther. And the panther is just about to kill him when his friend fires a shot and it scares the panther off. Doesn't kill it, but just scares it off. So Donald Pleasance being like this super, you know, ego maniac kind of a big game hunter and uh, like an adventurer, he owns an island and he puts a bounty out kind of on this this black panther that he wants uh, it to be captured alive and he wants it released on his island so that he can hunt it and kill it and he's only going to use nine bullets one for each of its nine lives <laughs> so he they capture the lion or the uh, black panther they release it on the island well his daughter and granddaughter are making a surprise trip so he doesn't even know that they're coming and he's out hunting and it's like super rainy and and bad weather and the daughter and granddaughter show up unannounced interrupting his um, hunt he doesn't even realize they're there but uh, what happens is is somebody the, the the little girl goes missing and like she's wandering around or something and and so they turn the floodlights on at the house on the in the property because they're waiting for for Donald Pleasance's character to come back to the house anyway. They don't even know where he's at, but he's out on the island hunting this Black Panther. Of course, the Black Panther starts killing people, um, and, you know, I'll, I'll kind of leave it at that because it's basic. that's a basic plot of it. You know, the end is, is not bad, but it's kind of... Uh, there's there's no point in telling the ending. You can, if you guys want to watch it, you know you can watch it. This is available on DVD. Um, I just happened to find it on VHS, and since it's from the 70s, I kind of wanted to kind of wanted to get it on VHS. <clears throat> okay, things I liked about this movie. Always like Donald Pleasance. He always has some major like overacting moment in every movie that he's in, and this one is no. Uh, no exception. Um, so Donald Pleasance, I like. I liked that. I liked the story idea. I thought it was kind of a, an interesting idea, not one that you see often or hear about often. A big game hunter kind of a thing. I do like animal revenge movies. Um, there's a few that I actually want to check out. Um, Backcountry, uh, Grizzly, some of those. Um, so I like that. Um, I liked the panther. I like the use of the panther. Um, things I didn't like about it. Okay, this movie is pretty like a cheese ball. Um, they, mu it must have been popular in the 70s to freeze frame a lot because this movie is full of these weird freeze frames. Like something's happening. It's always on the panther too. So you get a ton of these like slow motion panther running shots, um, freeze frame on the panther. I mean, it looks like they used a lot of recycled shots, um, probably because uh, they're using a live panther, so they, they could only do so much with that. Um, that was kind of kind of weird, but it was kind of laughable. It was just bad. Um, but uh, overall, I think it's worth checking out. If you like animal revenge movies, cheesy 70s movies, um, I say give it a shot. Um, I'm going to give this one also 3.5 out of 5. Um, this is kind of one of those so bad it's good movies. Um, but yeah, if you want to check this movie out, uh, I don't know if Netflix has it for rent or or um, you, maybe you can stream it somewhere. But 
definitely, definitely check it out if you're into that kind of thing. Good old 70s cheese with Donald Pleasance. Night creature. Okay. A um, couple things I'm going to do coming up. Um, I've just got this one. It's a Code Red release. I actually got this movie for super cheap on eBay. Like like a dollar fifty. I couldn't even believe it. It's still sealed. It's not even it's not even that easy to find. Retribution. Gonna give that a watch and a review. Um, another one I got for like a dollar was The Black Cat, based on Edgar Allan Poe's story, uh, directed by Stuart Gordon and starring Jeffrey Combs. Looking forward to checking this one out because I love Edgar Allan Poe. And a special thank you to Skin Slip for giving my channel a shout out. I think that's super cool that you would, that you, A, you enjoy my channel because I really enjoy yours, um, and that you gave me a shout out. I think that's really cool. And I know we have one thing in common. We like the Santo movies. Uh, Santo being the uh, Lucha luchador wrestler a Mexican wrestler um, and he made a bunch of movies I have seen a ton of his movies but this is the only one I own and so I thought I'd show it to you as a, as a thank you because I also found out this movie is worth like people are selling this movie for like 200 bucks on eBay and this is the only one I own there you go skin slip Santo versus La Invasion de los Marcianos Santo versus the Martian. Check out that awesome, awesome discard. I got this years ago, like 15 years ago, and I only spent like four bucks on it. So <laughs> now it's worth like 200. I need to get some of his other ones though. Um, th th they're just a fun, they're like a random fun B-movie watch, but check that out. How can you go wrong with that? Mexican wrestler fighting Martians good stuff I tell ya so that's what's coming up again thank you skin slip for the shout out I'm glad you enjoy the content everybody else welcome to the channel if there are any new people um, click the like button if you like what you see comment subscribe and I will catch you in the next video